If you drive a turbo diesel vehicle, there's one simple mistake that could be destroying your car every time you shut it off. It's a habit almost every driver does without thinking, and it leads to costly repairs. Although this video is tailored for older turbo diesels, it still applies to modern vehicles. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what it is, why it happens, and how to stop doing it before it wrecks your turbo. You take care of your diesel, right? You use quality fuel, change your oil, follow the service intervals. But there's one critical step that's often overlooked. It's a small action that causes carbon buildup, wears out your turbo faster, and shortens your engine's lifespan. Most people don't even realize it's harmful, because modern diesels are built tough, right? They are. But even they can't cheat physics. The number one mistake killing your turbo diesel is shutting the engine off immediately after driving, especially after hard use. Here's what's happening. After highway speeds, towing, or climbing hills, your turbo is spinning at over 100,000 RPM. It's red hot, literally glowing in some cases. You park and turn the engine off. Oil and coolant stop circulating instantly. The turbo is still hot, but now it's on its own. Even in modern engines with oil coolers and water-cooled turbos, this sudden stop allows heat to soak into the bearings. With no oil flow, the remaining oil can cook, turning into hard carbon deposits. These deposits slowly block oil passages, increase friction, and wear out your turbo from the inside. Eventually, the bearings fail, and when the turbo goes, it often sends metal into the engine, causing catastrophic damage. Now you might be thinking, don't modern diesels have oil coolers and water-cooled turbos? They do, and they help. A lot. But they're not magic. Once you turn the key off, most of that cooling stops. Less oil flow, less coolant circulation, and the turbo is still hot. That's why manufacturers like Ford, Cummins, and VW still recommend letting your engine idle before shutdown, especially after demanding drives. Even today, Heat soak can cause carbon buildup. If you really want your turbo to last, there is no harm in doing it manually as well. Here's the easy solution that can save you thousands of dollars in repairs. Let your engine idle for a few seconds before turning it off. For short or city drives, 15 to 30 seconds is enough. After highway speeds, towing, or steep climbs, let it idle 20 to 60 seconds. This keeps oil and coolant flowing, allowing the turbo to cool off gently. No cooking, no sludge, no hidden damage. Most newer vehicles have automatic turbo timers that do this for you, but some cars and SUVs don't. Manual idling is your best bet. While we're here, here are three more tips to protect your turbo diesel. First, use the right oil viscosity. Turbochargers rely on the correct oil thickness. Too thin or too thick, you're starving the bearings. Second, change oil frequently. Even with synthetic oils, don't push it. Every 5,000 to 6,000 miles is smart, especially if you drive hard. Third, don't let it idle cold for too long. Long cold idling creates more soot and carbon, especially in diesels. Drive gently instead to warm up faster. Taking just a few minutes to let your turbo cool down is one of the cheapest ways to protect your diesel engine. Whether it's a pickup, SUV, or car, modern or older, this simple habit will extend its life and save you from massive repair bills. If you find this video helpful, please press like and subscribe for more diesel tips, and it'll treat you right for hundreds of thousands of miles. Until next time, keep those diesels running strong.